Hey everybody, Tammy here, and I have a haul I'd like to share with you. And um, I'm actually going to have a few hauls to share, and I think I'll break them up into different videos. But first I wanted to show you um, the one in, well, if I count this as one of my Christmas projects, there I've done two. <laughs> so I have this Diana Markham cross-stitch um, book that has the Snow Buddies, and then if you turn it over, it has the gingerbread folk art sampler, Grandma's gingerbread. And I actually made an ornament with this little guy right here. And I'm just going to, I don't have the ornament because I was making it for a friend and I had no time to take a video of it um, before I had to give it to her. But here's a picture and it's uh, just a little yeah this cute little snowman and then i finished them off using some chipboard you know that i just cut into circles and added some batting to puff him up and some uh what is that stuff called what is that called pom-pom trim and there's pink and white gingham fabric um, that he's layered up on and then another circle on the back of it with the pink and white gingham fabric. And then um, this is some ribbon that I found at my favorite crafty store um, where we go up for our girls crafty weekends. And then a little button um, out of like a peppermint type candy button pack that I also found at that store. So that is... Um, yeah, my little cross stitch ornament that I made for a dear friend who collects uh, snowmen, all, all things snowmen. So I just wanted to share that. Um, and uh, there's so many cute things in this book. I think the next thing will be one of the little gingerbread uh, men to do and maybe do that kind of same kind of ornament. And then I also want to make one for myself for my tree. So. I need to get busy. Um, and then also, Mar I think her name, I think it's Mary Ann, um, asked a question on the video I did where I did the unboxing of this paint by number kit. And I did finish it, Mary Ann, and um, I just have not gotten it uh, framed yet because I need to go through. I'm noticing where the numbers, after it dried, I noticed some of the numbers I wasn't heavy enough I don't think with the paint in the certain colors so I need to go back over and get those numbers um, covered completely so that I don't see them but I'm happy with how it turned out it was fun to do I took it um, actually on a girls crafty weekend this was my project that I took to do and it was very relaxing to sit and paint so yeah this was um, a fun little project and I probably won't obviously get it framed for this Christmas to display um, for my gingerbread corner in the kitchen but definitely by next year so actually this um, looking at frames for that took me into the cross stitch uh, arena <laughs> because the company that I was looking at the frames from actually does a lot of um, a lot of the cross stitchers use the company for their frames to finish, you know, to put their needlework in. And so I, that, that just inspired me when I saw some of the cross stitch, you know, projects and inspired me to get the, um, folk art sampler book out and pick a little, you know, motif and the little snowman was perfect to do to, to, um, you know, uh, just something fun it didn't take very long and and it was fun to give a, a homemade gift to my friend that didn't take very long to get finished so anyways so we're gonna start out with a haul from Brutus Monroe and they had an awesome sale Black Friday oh I think it was that whole weekend an awesome sale um, online and dies were like a dollar uh, stamps were a dollar two dollars um, nothing was over three dollars with the exception of one stamp which I'll show that one first um, I believe I paid eight dollars for this and it was like half off I think or maybe more than that anyways this is a stamp that I have been searching for for at least a year and I saw 
this little um, sentiment right here. And I think you can see it. Crafty is the new pretty. I saw somebody showing a card that they received, and I think it might have been Anna White. And it had that sentiment, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to find that stamp set. that Because that's just such a cute saying, you know, to put on cards for your crafty friends. So I have been, you know, searching crafty stamps and um, crafty sentiments and never, never found it. Well, I was looking at the Brutus Monroe website, and this just popped out of nowhere, you guys like in my face and I'm like oh the crafty word you know um drew my attention to it and so I you know enlarged it to look at it and I couldn't believe it when I saw that it had that sentiment so it was actually a collaboration between Brutus Monroe and Tailored Expressions so yeah this never popped up in my searches as I was trying to find this stamp um, but this is what it looks like. And there was actually a die set, but I think the die set was sold out or I just didn't get it. I just don't, I don't remember if it was sold out or I didn't realize I needed it, but see how the stamp is. I really need to have the die set. Um, the die actually cuts out, you know, each strip. Um, and I really need to get that. So I'm looking for that next and I, ooh. I should go look on his website when I'm finished with this video just to see if I can snag it. But so that was my most exciting purchase um, along with all of these awesome little deals that I got. So like I said, a bunch of their stamps and dies were marked down, way down. And I, let's see, I wanted to try to keep these all in order. Okay. So I got the little gingerbread house collections. I got the stamp and then the die. And so I got that one. Here, we'll start putting our stuff over there. And then this one. These are going to be so much fun. I think I'm going to do tags with these. I can't wait. I just need to, to get on vacation so I can get some stuff done. And then this one. So I loved those. And then they have these little, and I don't remember what they called these little animals, but this is the cat. I call them roly-poly, but they called them something different. And it doesn't say on here, but a dollar. And I think these little gingerbread house stamps and dies, um, I can't remember if the stamp was three and the die was two or something like that. There's a little cat. Oh, and it has the die. Yeah, a dollar. I do remember that. And then this cute paper, six by six paper collection of all the plaids. And I love this paper. It has um, a gloss, kind of a, not really a glossy. I guess I, mm, I might say it's more like a shimmer effect, but not really shimmery either. It's not, it's, you can see, it's got a shine to it. And I, I think this will be fun to do for cards, layering up um, with the pretty plaids. Okay, and then here's another set. This is the stamp set. And then look at the cute little, this is called Sweet Candy. Oops, I'm not in frame. So you got the stamps and the dies. So can't wait to, I think this will be such a cute birthday card or Valentine's Day. And then this is um, a big die called Cottontail. And I thought this will be so much fun to use for Easter. And you guys, all of these dies I'm showing you, I want to say this was a dollar. It may have been two, but super cheap, super cheap. And then here is a strawberry seed stencil. I know this was a dollar. And what else? Um, oh, they give you free things, and I wasn't sure what this was. It, they showed I was getting it um, when I was checking out. It says, do not eat. <laughs> it's actually um, cupcake topper shaker sprinkles for your shaker cards. So in this bag, this rainbow bag is so adorable. I love it. I, I, yeah, I just wasn't sure what it was at all, but um, 
loved it loved that and that was free and then this must be brutus monroe's um hmm i don't know what you call it uh oh oh i'm drawing a blank anyways i think the the sneaker here has like um meaning um maybe he wears these i don't know but they gave us i noticed the sneaker was on some other things too so but they gave you a little cute keychain so cute and then let's see um here's some prima flowers and then some of the little picks these are so pretty there's a markdown and then i did get oh let's see what's under here let me show you all this stuff first this this all came in a grab bag it's called the sequins and ribbon grab bag and i think it was ten dollars and you get a ton of packages of sequins and different ribbon collections but let me show you these these are what they call their flare and look at little christmas cookies on a baking sheet <laughs> thank you it's a flare pen and then this one is called frostina isn't she cute a little snowman that's gonna go to my friend that collects snowmen and then yeah all of this was in the um grab bag the sequins and ribbon grab bag and then let's see the last thing i got from them i did order one of their packs of paper and i think this was five dollars and i believe they just called it like the rainbow pack and it's you know decent it's like a textured um not super heavy weight but it's it's um, good for layering on our cards or whatever. So I got that. And then I might as well show you. I had a little haul from scrapbook.com. And so these, I, I am like stocking up on all the little Christmassy holiday um, buttons from Buttons Galore and more. And so they have the gumdrops. And then they had the little gingerbread house, which I had not seen that. And then the little teeny tiny gingerbread boy and gingerbread girl. And then this also has some candy canes and some wrapped candies and a gumdrop there. A couple of gumdrops. So, really cute. And then, oh, this. This is so cute. So, I'm pretty sure I was enabled um, to get this. I believe Marilyn G., she shared it and I thought this was just adorable and it's by Maker Forte. So I was excited to see this on scrapbook.com's website and it's called Gingerbread Hugs. And I don't know if there's a die to this. I, I feel like I looked and didn't see one, but you know how scrapbook.com will give you free freebies. Well, I got the Spellbinder die free and then I got this doodlebug designs the candy cane lane um little ephemera variety pack for free so and you don't have to have a minimum purchase or anything like that you know when they do that so I love that and then they even put this in there and it's an advertisement for the graphic 45 but you know as a paper crafter we can use this in a journal this <laughs> so pretty so i thought that was nice a nice little advertisement that they included that we could use so that's all i have uh, right now for the brutus monroe and the scrapbook.com haul i will be back with a haul from the store that i love going to when i go up to my girls crafty weekends and um, i got lots of cool gingerbread stuff and some cross stitch supplies that i've ordered from different etsy sellers so that'll be the next video so thank you so much for watching and until next time bye bye